And still boring as fuck. Israel Adesanya is still the most boringest champ of all time. Jared Cannonier, what the hell are you doing in the fifth round? You needed to throw those damn strikes because you were losing. Okay, you only won one round. That's how I scored the fight, 49-46. Oh, God. Israel Adesanya. Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. Bro, how are people calling him a star? Well, people are turning against Israel Adesanya now because I've been seeing the comments and, like, just on every social media platform, people don't like this guy. And it's glad to see because Holloway Volkanovski should have been the main event. But, dude, Israel Adesanya is so cringe. Even after the post-fight um interview, uh, after he got his hand raised and got his belt, when he called out Alex Pieta, he said the same line again. He got to stop with that cringe shit, man. Leave you frozen like Elsa? Bro, please, keep the Disney princesses uh, references out of here, bro. Like, this is the UFC. I understand, like, the UFC is kind of tied with Disney because of ESPN and all that shit. But ain't no kids going to be watching this. Like, just stop. I, I just hope that Alex Pieta just knocks him out. Speaking of Alex Pieta, just knocked out Sean Strickland. Too easy, bro. Too easy. I'm surprised. I don't know why Sean Strickland didn't shoot. I was expecting him to shoot. And I, ex- I was expecting Pieta to defend it and then knock him out. Or, like, have, like, a fun scrap. But, dude, Sean, that really shows you why. You have to keep your chin tucked. At all times. And especially when you're trying to parry a punch from someone who has a way longer reach than you. Because Strickland tried to parry that um, left hand of Pieta. But Pieta just came around with a hook. You know, he has that freaking Izzy reach, the 6'4 frame with that 80 inch reach or 79 inch reach. Just reached over um, Strickland's hand and just knocked him out cold man it was sad that was sad too because i liked strickland especially because of that press conference that was really sad man (laughs) fuck i know everyone's gonna be talking shit about izzy i mean sean but izzy ain't no one let izzy off the hook yet because his fight was boring um his he's cringy that line was cringy i think we're all rooting for pajeta and realistically can Pajeta win that fight against Israel Adesanya? Voice crack, I think. Yes, I think Alex Pajeta can win. Um, he matches Izzy in the the frame and in the weight. No, he's. I think he's heavier than Izzy, slightly though. Dude, Izzy is big, bro. Like I saw. Like you look at him against Jared Cannonier. Like, god damn, look at that frame, bro. And he got muscle on him too. He's on roids too. Like. Uh, I'm pretty sure Guru did a video about this. Um, more plates, more dates did a uh, video about the Royd situation. So, yeah, like, man, I really dislike Israel Adesanya. Like, I hope Alex Pieta knocks him out, and I think he will. I'm going to choose, I'm going to favor Alex Pieta coming into this matchup with Israel Adesanya. That's a lock because Alex just knocked out Strickland, number four. Who else is going to fight Izzy for the belt? So. Yeah, let's see it, man. And um, <clears throat> I think I think I don't think I talked about the fight for Izzy Cannonier. Um, Izzy leg kicks Cannonier. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Um, he would throw leg kicks sometimes. I'm surprised he didn't go back to the leg kicks because the leg kicks were having like they were having a big effect on Israel Adesanya each time he landed it. But um. Izzy would just do his same, just leg kick, move out the way. This time he threw more punches. No, it's the same. It's still the same Izzy. It's just that Cannoneer wasn't really doing much. Sometimes Cannoneer would try to work the clinch so he couldn't move his... Uh, so Izzy couldn't move... Like, that's the best thing to do against someone who's really... um mobile, really hard to hit, moves his head a lot. Just grab his damn head. And you can know where to throw your punches at. Or you could just hold his head still. 
and just blast punches on him. Especially when um, Izzy will do that tie clinch, just throw over the uh, throw over Izzy's arms because his, both of his arms are occupied. He has to keep his head over there. You know where his head is at. Just keep blasting him, and uh, that worked for Cannonier. I think he landed like two solid punches on Izzy's face. That just Izzy just took them well. It was like clean shots too. So yeah, um, I mean we already knew Izzy had a good chin, especially against Jan Blachowicz. He ate a big bomb from Jan, but yeah, um, Izzy's boring as fuck. I I think I saw a video of people leaving. The fifth round, like, the fifth round didn't even start. And people were out of there already. I was like, wow. Izzy's stock is going down. Everyone's going to be cheering for... That's going to be crazy. I bet you in the next fight. I don't... I'll be... I'll be flabbergasted. Or bamboozled. If people are still cheering for Israel Adesanya. We all know he's cringe. He's boring. And I think people are going to be cheering for Alex Pieta. So I think in this next fight, in Izzy's next fight, he might be the one getting booed. And Alex Pieta is going to be the one who's going to be getting cheered, even though he doesn't understand anything. That's that's crazy, man. So yeah, um, that's my thoughts on the Izzy the UFC 276 uh, main card thing. Yeah, um, that's all.